morning and welcome to Our Lady of Grace. Our food pantry collection will take place next weekend, July 29th and 30th. Picnic sign-up sheets will be available in the gathering area next weekend. Be sure to take a bulletin home for details. We ask that you at this time that you please silence and turn off all cell phones in preparation for Mass. All of our hymns can be found in the brown hymnal. Please join and sing our opening hymn, number 360, Bring Forth the Kingdom. Please stand. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to enter into God's sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your
Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God beside you. You have the care of all that you need show that you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency. And with much lenience, you govern us for power whenever you will attend you. And you taught your people by these deeds that those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes in inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory the Lord be always on my mind, my lips, and in my heart. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowds, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. When everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the household came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus warns us that weeds will grow among the wheat. Anyone who has farmed or gardened knows this phenomenon really well, and Jesus applies it to human living. 
The world today is such a mixture of good and evil. We all know people with a beautiful attitude to life. People who love and are generous. People who support others. People who are cheerful in times of trial. People who never complain or speak ill about others. These very qualities are a grace from God. And each of us gathered here today have the task of cooperating with these kinds of graces so that during this life we may gradually grow closer to God, to be his children, to be more Christ-like. But the good in each of us is often tangled up with evil. We see it everywhere. The news, our schools, and sadly even in our uh, parish communities and perhaps maybe here. People who destroy innocent lives, people who exploit others, people who refuse to help the poor, and people who call themselves Catholic or Christian, but blindly or purposely live contrary to the, message, to the gospel message of Jesus Christ. The question for us all is, well, how then are we to remain faithful to our Catholic faith when evil is all around us? Just how? Well, first, we must learn the importance of persevering in our Catholic faith. We must cling to what is good even as enemies of the good try to pull us away from God and his church, which he built upon the apostles. We must cling to what is good, knowing that God is always with us, and that knowing the good will always triumph over evil. That was what the resurrection of Jesus Christ was all about. That evil no longer has the last word. When Christ Jesus willingly offered himself on the cross, it destroyed all evil. It will no longer have the last word. And our struggle to make our way among the weeds of the world, God gives us a thought that can accompany us. God tells us in the Book of Wisdom that He is in charge of the world. He alone has the power to administer justice in the world. But God's love and might is so great that he will also show mercy to those who repent. You know, God waits patiently for each of us to turn away from sin and to return to him, just like the prodigal son did. God waits patiently for the wicked in this world to turn away from their sin and to return to him. God gives us time to weed out the evil in our lives and to be patient with those who are still under the influence of the evil one. We also have an advocate who is always with us, 
The Holy Spirit, St. Paul tells us in the second reading. The Holy Spirit, the third person of the Blessed Trinity, always dwells in the hearts of each of us. You know, often we can find ourselves not knowing how to pray, what to pray for, or what words to use. And so we have the Spirit of God who prays in and with us. Call upon the power of the Holy Spirit to work in your life, to bring healing in your life, whether it be physical, emotional, or spiritual. And the most important healing of all is spiritual. Today, let us fervently pray for the coming of God's kingdom in our own hearts, in the hearts of those we love, and in the hearts of those who sow evil in the world. As we pray, be assured that the risen Christ is working in the world, preparing it as a place where God will live forever. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of me, unsubstantial. by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate by the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored in the name of the Lord, who has spoken to the cross. I believe in one who hath the apostolic church, I confess on baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us now bring our petitions to our Heavenly Father, who hears and answers all of our prayers. Our response will be, hear us, O Lord. For Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and deacons, that the example of their lives may continue to give witness to God's mercy and love, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Us, Lord. For those in public office, that they may be open to God's grace and to work to protect the weak and vulnerable in our society, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Hear us O Lord. For the sick and the lonely, 
that through the love and compassion of others, they may know of God's unfailing presence in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us. Hear us, O Lord. For this faith community, may we take time each day to give thanks to God for the many gifts he bestows upon us and strive to serve him with joyful hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all who put themselves in harm's way to defend, protect, and rescue those in need, may, na may we know that they hold them in their hearts and prayers for a safe return home. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For people who are addicted to drugs or alcohol, that through our steadfast prayers, they will seek healing through our loving God, who will help sustain them on the difficult road to recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For all of our faithful departed, including Joseph and Elizabeth Ianati, may they enjoy everlasting peace and happiness with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Father, hear our prayers and grant us the grace needed to lead lives which are holy and pleasing to you. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we present our gifts, please join in singing hymn number 445, We Come to Your Feast.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law. Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world, that in your mercy you sent the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. <clears throat> Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you, throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Restlessness 
and roaming here in joy we keep the feast we that once were lost and scattered in communion's love has stood taste and see God is good. Taste and see the grace eternal. Taste and see that God is good. All who hunger sing together. Jesus Christ is living bread. and see that God is good. Taste and see the grace eternal. Taste and see that God is good. All who hunger gather gladly. Holy
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Please join in singing our closing hymn, number 466, The Master Came to Bring Good News. Mm -hmm.